I want to make a preemptive bid for the company as discussed. No, I can't wait. I need it done immediately. Fine, then get back to me. Was that about Dominic's undercover investigation of that? Did you get the cops to shut it down? Are they okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, pink napkins, yeah. pink tablecloths, pink oh. candlesticks. Is it Molly Ringwald night at the Jacksons? Uh, no, it's, um, Jocelyn's christening. Which, by the way, I did not get your RSVP. Yeah, I figured the invitation was kind of a mistake. It's kind of hard to write someone's name and address on an envelope by mistake. Yeah. So, can you make it? I'm not sure. I throw a great party. I never do anything halfway. Why would you want me at Jocelyn's christening, considering all the harm my sister did to your family and you? You need to have patience, Michael. Patience? Yes. Patience? Dominic is an undercover cop working to take down my dad. He could arrest him at any moment. I realize that you want immediate results, but that's not Jax, the way it I works. Heard him okay. talking to Johnny on the pier. Dominic's got evidence. He's closing in. I already tried to talk to Dad, but he won't believe me. He thinks, you know, Dominic walks yes, on water. You were right to come to me, Mark. Look, you have influence. I was hoping you could just make this go away, but if you can't deliver, I'll go I to have, Jason. I, listen to me. I've been talking to people. I'm calling in favors, okay? Why does it sound like you're making excuses? I'm not making excuses, Michael. The last thing I want is for you or anyone else in this family to get hurt. Now, the best way for you to help is to stay quiet and let me deal with it, okay? So what can I do? I'm sorry? Well, the christening party is on Friday. Uh, I just thought maybe you guys would need a hand, but... Uh, oh. If you're having a private conversation... No, I no, no. We're done. Let me know what happens. I will. Getting rid of Sonny would be worth any price. But I'm starting to wonder. Telling so many lies, I'm beginning to not like myself. And justifies the means and all that, right? I need to protect my family. Do you remember when you first found out that Dante was an undercover cop? And you were so sure that you could work all the angles. You know, that Sonny would get arrested. That Dante and I would handle all the fallout and that you'd walk away smelling like a rose. Well, no one's walking away from this, at least of all my family. It's gonna devastate them, Jackson. Yeah, destroy my relationship with Michael. What? Can you blame him? I mean, the kid adores his father. I've worked so hard to gain his acceptance. When he finds out I've known about Dominic for months, he's not gonna be too happy about it, is he? Yeah. He's not gonna get over this one. And I don't know what to say about Carly and Morgan. I did it to save them. Do you honestly believe they're gonna agree with that? Jax, do you think that there's even a prayer that your family is gonna agree that Sonny's arrest had to happen? What about you? Carly's your closest friend in Port Charles. How do you think she'll feel when she finds out about Dante? I don't blame you for what Claudia did. She was responsible for getting Michael shot. She took you hostage while you were in labor. What does that have to do with you? Well, you're a bigger person than I am. I don't forgive that easily. You've done a lot of good deeds. Like that night in the parking lot at Jake's, I went into early labor. Yeah, I was drunk. Yeah, well, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have made it to the hospital. You and Coleman were my labor coaches. Thank God you didn't give birth that night, right? Thank God. <laughs> and now you've got yourself a beautiful, healthy baby girl. I'm happy for you, Carly. Which brings us back to the christening. You just won't relent, will you? No, see, I'm, I'm an opportunist. Oh. I am. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I've burned bridges that I wish I hadn't, and I want to use this christening as an opportunity to right wrongs, to end old grudges. And I really want you to come, so will you come? Please? I'd be honored. Great. I'll see you there. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> I got it. Didn't expect to see you here. Uh, yeah, well, I knew you were having the Christmas party on Friday, so I thought maybe you would need a hand. Um, I had the hotel chef write up some menu suggestions. I vote for the mac and cheese balls. I appreciate that. Yeah. Look, Carly, I know that our friendship hasn't been the same 
since you found out that I knew Claudia got Michael shot. But I'd like to make amends. Okay, and I understand if from one mom to another if this is just too much for you to get past. So if you want me out of your hair, you just say the word and, uh, and I'll go. I don't have a lot of white friends. For some reason, they seem to have a problem with me. Well, you do tend to come on pretty strong. Uh, some people have a problem with that. I'm not one of them. But... You're no wallflower yourself. No, well, maybe that's why we got along from the start. <laughs> Kindred spirits. Anyhow, um, I would be sorry if our friendship was over. I would too. Anyway, it's up to you, Carly. Whatever you decide, I'll respect your decision. I just told someone that I wanted this christening to be about new beginnings and to bury old grudges. The least I can do is practice what I preach, so... Yeah, we're still friends. Put me to work. I'm ready to fulfill my duties as Jocelyn's god. Come on. I just went shopping. We have to put those napkins and these rings. All right. Okay. This is perfect. A nice, repetitive task to keep me from obsessing. Obsessing about what? Dominic. He's driving me crazy. Of course, part of it's my fault since I told myself I wouldn't get emotionally involved or fall in love because falling in love only leads to hurt. Love, and... love. That's, that's, that's serious. I mean, you're obviously... Invested, right? Yeah, Carly, I've completely fallen for this guy, and now he's pulling away to protect me, which is the last thing that I want. What is he trying to protect you from? Dominic is suddenly acting like it's too dangerous for me to be with him because he's in the mob. Well, that's very noble. Yeah, and a month too late. He spent all this time pursuing me, and now he wants to back off? What? Just thinking about all the complaining you did about... Dominic's cheesy pickup lines. Oh my gosh, they were such groaners. <laughs> they obviously worked. The more that Dominic hung around, the more I got to see the sweet side underneath. Hey, he won me over by being so nice to Morgan. Morgan fell in love with him from the start. My son has great instincts. So I've fallen for a terrific guy and he's basically dumping me. From Dominic's point of view, it makes sense, Lulu. So you think that I should just let it go and, and say thanks for reeling me in, have a nice life? I think you need to take off the rose-colored glasses and look at the danger that I inflicted on myself and my kids by being involved with Sonny. And even Jason, even though he seems to be the exception to every rule. So do you regret it? Even when Sonny and Jason are completely wrong, are you sorry that you stayed loyal to them? No.